Before attempting to silver solder these pipes, it's vital to remove the burrs from the end of the pipes where they've been cut on the bandsaw. I normally do this on the belt sander as you can see from the video currently running. There is one rule of silver soldering that must never be disregarded and that is always put the union nuts onto the pipe the right way round before soldering the union nipples on the end of the pipe. Clean the ends of the pipes thoroughly using a scouring pad or some emery cloth. Then carefully apply the silver solder flux to the end of the pipe. This comes as a white powder and needs mixing with water to the consistency of single cream. And once again, don't forget to have the union nut on the pipe before you solder the union nipple on the end. And make sure that both of the union nuts on the pipe are the right way around. I'm sorry for having to repeat this. I've done a lot of silver soldering and still occasionally I forget to put the nuts on the pipe. Or worse than that, put them on the pipe the wrong way round. Once the flux has been applied, and the union nuts have been put on the pipe, and the pipe nipples pushed onto the end of the pipe, using a blow lamp, heat up the end of the pipe. When the flux takes on a watery, runny appearance, that's the time to just touch it with the stick of silver solder. The silver solder will flash round the joint by capillary action, as can be seen here. If there is insufficient heat, this will not happen. If there's too much heat, the end of the pipe will glow red, a very bright red. The flux will burn away and the pipe nipple will melt and drop off. When soldering small pieces of pipe, after the soldering process, let the pipe cool to black and drop it in some water. This thermal shock will loosen some of the oxidisation, making it easier to clean it subsequently. Move on now to the second piece of pipe and in exactly the same way, apply the heat, wait until the flux takes on a very runny appearance, like this, just touch the silver solder on the joint, hold the heat on for a further two seconds and then remove the heat. Once again let the part cool to black, pick it up with a pair of old pliers and drop it in the water. These are the two water pipes being silver soldered. Watch for the point when the flux turns to the runny appearance that I'm talking about. Did you see it there? That's the time to just touch it with the silver solder stick. As soon as the flux starts to run, there it goes. That's the time to touch it with the silver solder. You can see the importance of holding the heat on for a couple of seconds afterwards. It allows the silver solder to flow around the joint. 